guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to update you on something going on with Miss Olive here. So Olive here is my nearly three-year-old rat. Um, she'll be three in like two weeks, maybe a little less. Uh, and she has been amazingly healthy for her age, which is very nice to see. She has, of course, a few old age health issues, some hind leg issues, uh, and some cataracts. But in general, everything has been pretty amazing with her. At least, that's how it was until a few weeks ago. Because, unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I noticed that Olive was developing some malocclusion of one of her lower incisors. So rats have open-rooted incisors, which basically just means that they grow their entire lives, and typically they keep their incisors trimmed by doing what's known as brooksing, which is when they rub their upper and lower incisors against each other. And this grinds down their incisors so that they stay at a normal length. Uh, chewing also helps some, however, it's completely unnecessary, uh, and even if a rat is not chewing or eating hard food at all, they are still completely able to keep their incisors trimmed just by brooksing alone. And there's actually kind of a lot of misinformation in the rat world, unfortunately, where people think that if their rat isn't chewing, it's going to cause malocclusion. This is not the case. Malocclusion has nothing to do with chewing. And even if your rat is not chewing at all, they can absolutely keep their incisors trim if they are fitting properly. Um, but on the other hand, even if they are chewing a ton, it's not going to fix any issues if they actually have malocclusion and the incisors aren't fitting properly. Because if your incisors are not meeting up properly, then when they grind, they're not going to grind down evenly, no matter how much the rat chews or brooks is. So that's basically an explanation of malocclusion. And when you have rats, it's a good idea to check their incisors, at least on a weekly basis, just to ensure that they continue to be occluded properly and meet up properly. And for most rats, this is never going to be an issue, um, but there are some things that can cause it to become an issue and can cause the incisors to no longer meet properly, which is why it's a good idea to check. Uh, and the main reasons for this would be something like genetics, you know, a rat can be born with malocclusion, or they can be, let's say, a marble, which is a variety which often is genetically interlinked with malocclusion. Uh, it's not always seen with malocclusion, but it's pretty common for marbles and tabby rats, uh, which by the way are varieties of rats, uh, to develop late stage malocclusion, which is completely genetic based. So that's actually one reason I don't want those varieties, because I really don't want to deal with that. Um, when, you know, I can avoid it. Now, another thing that can cause malocclusion could be injury. Uh, if your rat falls wrong and, you know, they hit themselves in the wrong way, uh, they could knock their incisors out of alignment. So unfortunately, there's no way to completely get rid of the chance of any fall-based injuries, although, of course, you can reduce them by having your cage set up optimally, especially if your rat has hind leg degeneration like all of here. Uh, the final thing that can cause malocclusion would be some sort of illness. I think a tumor pressing on the area, like a Zimbel's gland tumor or a pituitary gland tumor, or pressure in the area is quite literally forcing the incisors to move so that they're no longer meeting properly. Anyways, as far as Olive goes, we can knock out illness because she doesn't have any sort of issues going on right now that can cause malocclusion. Uh, we can also knock out genetics because she was not born with it, and she's not a variety that's known to develop late-stage genetic malocclusion. Uh, so most likely we are looking at some sort of injury that caused it, uh, most likely some sort of fall. So even though I have the cage as safe as I can possibly make it, uh, unfortunately there are still ways to fall, you know, in just the wrong way, even if you just fall an inch or two. Uh, and I think that's probably what happened with Olive. So with all the information out of the way, I just wanted you to see her uh, incisors real quick. So you can see right now, it's kind of difficult to show you, but you can see that one of her bottom incisors is longer than the other. Yeah, <laughs> she's not very pleased with me right now. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, so yeah, you can see one is longer than the other, which is this one down here, and it's also like at a sharp point, which is not typical. Um, so one is fine, the other one is not fine, uh, and her upper incisors are also okay. So uh, unfortunately, that's what's going on with Olive, and I did have to take her to the vet to have it filed down. It's actually called burring. Basically, they electrically file it down. They use some sort of like grinding dentistry tool. Um, so that is an unfortunate thing that Olive had to go through. Uh, but thankfully, her incisors are growing pretty slow, which is pretty common with older rats. They usually don't have very fast growing incisors. Uh, so she probably won't need trims more than every like three to four weeks. 
Uh, and with younger rats, you sometimes need to trim them as much as every seven to 10 days. So this is actually a lot better than it could be, but she will need these trims, or I guess you can call them files because it's actually better to file down the incisors than trim them. Trimming can actually crack the tooth. So it does unfortunately have more dangers to it than burring, which is again, filing it down basically. Uh, but I do understand there are some circumstances where, you know, it's just not possible to take a rat into the vet, you know, every week or so. Uh, to get their incisors burred down. So sometimes people do have to go with the, you know, lesser evil of just trying to trim it themselves. Um, but in the case of rats like Olive, where it is a longer process and, you know, only every few weeks, then it's very possible to take them to the vet uh, to have it just done really quickly. So it's a very quick and easy procedure. Um, it's not very difficult on the rat. Uh, Olive didn't even need to be sedated or anything like that. So very easy and just all in all, while it did suck that she had to get this sort of procedure done and will for the rest of her life, uh, it is good to know that we caught it before it caused any damage. You know, the incisors can grow into the roof of the mouth uh, and prevent the rat from eating and cause absolutely horrific pain and, you know, damage. And if they do grow into the roof of the mouth, you know, that can leave open sores, which means that bacteria can enter and can cause a huge issue with infection. Uh, it's just a, not a great time. So you do want to check your rat's incisors regularly just to make sure that they are meeting up properly and growing properly so that your rat doesn't get to the point where, you know, the incisors are growing out of control and actually causing big issues. But in the case of Olive, we caught it early enough that it didn't cause any issues. Um, she'll need another trim soon enough, but for now she's doing quite well uh, and I don't expect this to really impact her life. Uh, honestly, it's, you know, not a fun procedure for them to get them trimmed, but it's very quick and it's not super stressful. So overall, it's definitely not a huge problem, uh, at least in comparison to a lot of other issues. So not something ideal, uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm very glad that it's not something worse. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on Miss Olive here. Uh, and also talk some about malocclusion because I know there's a lot of misinformation about it in the rat community. Like people saying that it's because your rats aren't chewing enough, which again is completely false. So if your rat has malocclusion, they really need to go to the vet. You aren't going to be able to fix it by giving them chew toys or stuff like that. Uh, they need their incisors to be physically trimmed uh, or filed down ideally. So, you know, it's just something that you want to keep an eye on, uh, even if you have healthy rats, because it can happen uh, like with Olive. Her malocclusion was completely out of nowhere, but it's not a big problem as long as we keep up with it. So uh, Olive should still live a very happy and healthy life. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Miss Olive and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You're a visible. You're a sweet girl.